Humans break things faster. This is my answer anytime I get the question, why didn't you just use the machine to fold these flip phones? Oh, I have a machine, it's right here. But machines, and this one is similar to the bigger ones used by flip phones manufacturers to test their products, are way too gentle. Way more gentle than us humans. When a machine falls a phone, the pressure is spread evenly on the hinge and it's absolutely possible for a phone to be folded 400,000 times by a machine without any major issues. And this is actually Motorola's claim. The Razer 40 Plus or Ultra, depending on where you live, two different names, the same phone, should handle 400,000 folds easily. But in our great folding test, it lasted only 126,000 folds before the screen broke. And why did it break? I have two theories. One is, I don't know. The second might help you take better care of your razor if you own one. In our test, Motorola's hinge started to give up after roughly 44K folds. The phone was still usable, but if this happened to you or me, we would probably want our razor to be replaced or repaired at least. Bear in mind that 44K folds is over two years of using a phone if you're a regular user that opens their phone 60 times a day. If you're a heavy user that folds their phone 90 to 100 times a day, it's still over a year of happy flipping without any issues. This razor is a phone I've been using for like a couple of weeks as my secondary phone. And uh, so it's been barely used. And listen to the sound of the hinge of this phone. Maybe one shouldn't judge a hinge by its sound. Just apply the WD-40 and go on with your life. But this is not the door to your basement. And this is a barely used Samsung Z Flip 5 phone. Not the one we're testing right now, live. And now let me take you to the studio next door, where the live's been going on. And there is the other Z Flip 5. 170,000 folds and counting. The counter died. We had to replace it. The phone's still alive. Let's listen to its hinge. And in regards to the number of folds, Samsung is way more conservative than Motorola. They claim that Z Flip 5, just like Z Flip 3 and Z Flip 4, can be easily folded 200,000 times. So the one we are testing is almost there. But we are definitely not stopping there. 200k folds? That's where the fun begins. But going back to the hinge. Even though, as pointed out by Zach from Jerry Rig Everything, the hinges of the newest Razer and the previous Z Flip 4 are extremely similar, I think Motorola's hinge or its construction is way less durable than the hinge or the construction of the Z Flip 5. And as a Razer owner, there's not much you can do about it, apart from trying to flip less and use the outer screen more, but that's not a perfect solution. The other thing you can actually do something about is dust. Motorola's rating is IP52. 5 is for dust, 2 is for water. 5 means it's dust protected, but not dust tight. 2 means don't take it out in the rain. Samsung's IP rating is X8. X stands for dust, 8 stands for water. X means we have no data we simply don't know. 8 means throw it into the water. If it's not salty, the phone will survive. I tested the Z Flip 3 last year in really rough conditions. I put it in sand, then folded it a couple of times underwater, mixed with sand, and it kept on folding for another 80 to 90,000 times. With the Razer, it's a bit different. 
After 100k folds, I put the razor in a bag filled with dust. We did the same to the Z Flip 5. Same type of bag, same type and amount of dust. And I think a tiny dust particle got under the screen of the Motorola. I'm not 100% sure that this certain dust particle caused Motorola's screen failure about 20,000 folds later, but it's the most probable scenario. This dot wasn't there before the dust test, and after the dust test, it never disappeared, eventually creating this line. Samsung's hinge seems to be protected against dust way better than Motorola's hinge, even though the phone's dust protection rating is X. But it kind of makes sense that if the Z Flip 5 is water resistant, it's gonna do a decent job keeping the dust away. What would I do if I owned or actually I own uh, the razor with the broken screen? But what would I do if I owned a new one to protect the hinge from prematurely or the screen from prematurely breaking? I know it's easier said than done, but I would try to keep it clean. This phone doesn't seem to like dust. Whereas this phone doesn't seem to care. And we are still testing its durability. So if you're into weird ASMR experience 24 seven, the live stream is still on. You'll find the link below.